Obviously, domain names are pretty important. They shape our experience of the web, right? I mean, Google has become a verb, you know? I mean, Amazon.com, I mean, that says something, that means something. So, how do you get one? How would you register a new domain name? So this is important, this important difference between registering a new domain name and a new host name. For example, if you wanted to set up a new site and you wanted your site to be called um, greatproducts.amazon.com, you have a problem because Amazon.com owns that domain name. They own everything that ends with Amazon.com. And so unless you can get their permission to do that, which I very much doubt you would, you can't set up a new host name on their network. But if you want a new domain name, if you want uh, Amazonian.com or something like that, that you might be able to do. So let me walk you through the process. Um, there's a lot of different tools out there for doing this. One that I like is Google Domains. Uh, but you can go to GoDaddy. Uh, if you Google up uh, domain name search or whatever, there's lots of different companies that offer this as a service. Um, so the first thing we need to think about is what are we trying to accomplish here? Um, so let's say, I don't know, let's, let's say I want to uh, set up a new cat website. There aren't enough cat websites in the world and so I want a new cat website. So I'm on Google's domain search and I'm going to search for cats. Okay. Uh, now, okay, so here's what it's telling me. Um, cats.com. <laughs> Cats.com is taken. That's not that surprising. You know, uh, somebody got uh, to cats.com before I did. I, I don't, <laughs> again, I, that, that doesn't surprise me at all. Um, so cats.com is taken. Cats.cc is taken. It's showing me options, right? Giving me a, some choices. I want cats. Uh, what sort of, uh, so what top level domain name uh, can I get? Okay, here we go. So, okay. Okay, so now I'm getting some choices, right? I've got cats.international, uh, cats.international, cats.me, those are taken, um, or at least Google can't get them for me. Uh, here we go, cats.market. Apparently, so recently we've opened up, uh, the ICANN has opened up a bunch of new top level domain names, things like .bikes, .farm, .market, .whatever. Um, and so that's actually causing now to be kind of a good time to buy domain names because there's some interesting options available. So if you wanted to buy cats.market, this is a premium domain name. So in order to purchase, I actually have to pay $880 per year. I have no idea why that's so expensive because if I want cats.farm, which to me is just equally incomprehensible, uh, cats.market, what does that even mean? Are there cats at the market or cats? I don't understand it, but anyway, there might be cats on my farm, and if I wanted cats.farm, I can get that for 30 bucks a year. Pretty good. Um, all right, so let's do something else. Uh, let's look up dogs. Now, let's see. I also have a dog, so you know I like dogs. Let's see what's available, sort of in the in the dogs area. Okay, so so again, I mean, this is not surprising. The, a lot of the .dot coms, the .dot edu stuff like that, that's gone, right? Uh, dogs .dot guru, that's also gone. That's too bad. Um, I hope my student guru has a .dot guru uh, domain name. Uh, dogs .dot international, dogs .dot me, um, nothing there. Now now Google's actually kind of, so trying to be helpful here. It's like okay. Um, you have some other options, doggy.guru. So if my dog happens to be a guru type dog, I might be able to find that. Hound.guru. I had no idea there was a dot guru top level domain. That is interesting. Um, anyway, oh, Felicatus domesticus.us. That's available if you know your Latin. Uh, only $12 a year. So, so this, is, this is the process. I mean, top level domain names, as long as they're available, um, sorry, not top level domain names, so domain names, right? As long as they're available, as long as you can find a decent top level domain that you like, these are out there. And, you know, in a lot of cases, the first step to, you know, setting up a new website or a personal website is just to go out and buy a domain name. They're not that expensive. You know, 12 bucks a year for something like that, that's cheap at the price. Price, right? You can probably, you might be able to find your name, uh, your first name, not last name. So let me try that here. Uh, Jeffrey Challen. Here we go. See if any of my students have parked these to prevent me from getting them. Okay, JeffreyChallen.com uh, is is not available. Oh wait, oh, oh it is. Look at that. JeffreyChallen.com is available. Twelve dollars a year. Someone should buy that and put up some really unflattering pictures of me. Uh, JeffreyChallen.guru. Uh, apparently someone thinks I'm a guru because that's more expensive. Uh, so anyway, so this is the process. This is fun. You know, uh, you might want to sit down and, and park a few domain names on your own behalf just to make sure that when you uh, come up with an awesome idea for a personal website, they're there for you to use. This is how you acquire a new domain name. Credit card and a website. Credit card and the internet, that's all you need.
We're going to go tell Guru that his site's available.